Hi guys, today we're going to look at how we can make use of physics materials to make objects bounce in Unity. As always, if you prefer written instructions, you can find a link to the text version in the description. Right, let's get started by creating a new 3D project in Unity Hub. We'll add a cube to the scene by clicking the plus button in the hierarchy and selecting 3D object cube. We'll set the scale to 5 on the X and Z axis. Next, we'll create a material to change the colour of the cube. To do this, we'll click on the plus button in the project panel and select Material. We'll name this material Green. We'll click on this box next to Albedo and choose a green colour. We can now drag the material onto the cube to assign it. Next, we're going to get a ball from the Asset Store by clicking Window Asset Store. We'll then search for Low Polygon Soccer Ball. We'll download and import this asset. We'll then head back to the scene view. In the project panel, we'll navigate to Assets, Soccer Ball, Prefabs, and we'll drag the soccer ball into the scene. We'll set the position to 0 on the X axis, 2 on the Y axis, and 0 on the Z axis. To have the ball react to forces and collisions, we need to add a rigid body by clicking Add Component and searching for the rigid body component. Next, we'll move the camera forwards a bit so we can get a better view. To do this, we'll select it in the hierarchy and set the position to minus 3 on the Z axis. While we're on the camera, we'll also set the clear flags value to solid colour. To improve the lighting in our scene, we'll select Window, Rendering, Lighting Settings. Then we'll tick the Auto Generate checkbox. Let's press play to see how the ball behaves. It falls under gravity but there's no bounce. The bounciness of an object in Unity is defined by its physics material. At the moment the ball is using the default material which has a bounciness value of 0. Let's stop the game and add a new physics material in the project panel. We'll call this material Ball. We'll set the bounciness to 1. Then we'll drag the material onto the ball. Let's press play again. This time the ball bounces a few times before coming to a stop. This is quite realistic behaviour for a ball and these settings will work well for many scenarios. But what if we want the ball to keep bouncing indefinitely? Let's stop the game and have a look at the physics material again. You'll notice that the bounce combined value is set to average. As our floor has a bounciness of 0, the average bounciness of a collision between the ball and the floor will be 0.5, which is why the ball bounces roughly half as high with each bounce. If we set the bounce combined value to maximum, it will then use the highest value for the bounciness, which in this case will be 1. As we want the ball to keep going forever, we don't want it to be slowed down by friction, so we'll also set the friction values to 0 and we'll set the friction combined value to minimum. Let's press play again to see how the ball's behaviour has changed. The ball will now keep bouncing forever, but you'll probably notice that it is actually getting higher and higher. Let's stop the game again and change the bounciness value to 0 0.965. This seems to be the value that keeps the ball bouncing forever at a consistent height. Let's press play again to test this out. Great, that's given us the effect we wanted. Next, we'll make things a bit more interesting by adding a couple more obstacles to bounce off. We'll stop the game and then duplicate the cube by right-clicking it in the hierarchy and selecting Duplicate. We'll set the position of the new cube to 3 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis, and we'll set the scale to 1 on the x-axis and 5 on the y-axis. We'll then duplicate the new cube. We'll set the position of this one to minus 3 on the x-axis. Now we have two walls to bounce off, we need to apply a force to the ball to make it move horizontally. To do this, we'll select the ball in the hierarchy and add a new script component. We'll call this script Start Force. We'll double click the script to open it in Visual Studio. We'll add a public vector 3 variable for the desired start force we want to apply to the ball. Then, in our start method, we'll get the rigid body component and assign it to a variable. We'll then add the desired force to the rigid body. 
we'll specify the force mode as impulse so that the force is applied instantly. Let's save the script and switch back to Unity. We'll select the ball in the hierarchy and set the start force value to 2 on the X axis. Let's press play to see what happens now. The ball bounces towards the wall but then it doesn't bounce off as you would expect. This is because Unity has a default bounce threshold of 2 and any contact with a relative velocity lower than this will not bounce. Let's stop the game and change this. We'll select Edit Project Settings. We'll then go to the Physics tab and change the bounce threshold to 0. Let's start the game again. This time the ball bounces off the wall and it will continue bouncing around our scene indefinitely. Let's stop the game and add in a couple more balls. We'll duplicate the ball by right clicking it in the hierarchy and selecting Duplicate. We'll change the position of the new ball to 1 on the X axis and 2.2 on the Y axis. We'll also change the start force to minus 3 on the X axis so that it moves in the opposite direction. We'll duplicate the ball one more time. We'll set the position of this to be minus 1 on the X axis and 1.5 on the Y axis. We'll also increase the start force slightly to 3 on the X axis. Let's press play to see how the balls now interact with each other. You can see that we're now getting all sorts of interesting collisions between the balls that change their direction and velocity, but due to our physics settings there is no loss of energy and they will continue to bounce forever. Ok, that covers everything for this tutorial, hope you found it useful. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks guys!